In this video we're going to look at sketching hyperbolas. Let's say we have a hyperbola with this equation. 2 over x minus 4 plus 3. The first thing that we need to do is work out our asymptotes. The equation of a hyperbola tells us their asymptotes straight off. We know that the bottom part of the fraction can never equal 0 because we can't divide by 0 so therefore we know that x can never equal 4 because x minus 4 equaling 0 would mean that x has to equal 4 so therefore our first asymptote has to be the line x equals 4 which runs somewhere like that on our graph. The second asymptote can be determined by the fact that the fraction in the asymptote equation can never equal zero simply because the numerator is not zero. A fraction only equals zero if the top part of the fraction, the numerator, is zero. In this case it's not, it's two. So therefore y can never equal 0 plus 3, so that means y can never equal 3, so our second asymptote has to be y equals 3, which runs approximately along there. We also know that this is a positive asymptote, uh, sorry, a positive hyperbola, because 2 is a positive number. So this means we're going to be in this and this quadrant, the curves of our hyperbola. So we know this is positive. Now we need to note, determine any places where it cuts the axes. And the way we do this is to determine if it cuts the y-axis anywhere. We set x equal to 0 and determine what that is. So our intercepts, when we set x equal to 0, we end up with y equals 2 over negative 4 plus 3, y equals negative 1 half plus 3, y equals 2 and a half, y equals 2 and a half, so it's going to go through our y-axis roughly there. We also know that if we want to work out where it cuts the x-axis, we set y equal to 0. This is a slightly more difficult equation, I'll do it over here. We end up with 0 equals 2 over x minus 4 plus 3. The opposite of addition is subtraction, so we subtract 3 from both sides and end up with minus 3 equals 2 over x minus 4. That's dividing. We multiply, we end up with minus 3x plus 12 equals 2. Subtract 12 from both sides, minus 3x equals 10, sorry, equals, yeah, minus 3x equals negative 10. Divide by negative 3, both sides, we end up with positive 3 and a third. So it cuts the x-axis there. And this is basically all we need for our hyperbola. We know that it's going to be going somewhere like that, and therefore we also know it's going to be going somewhere like that. And there is our sketch of our hyperbola.